The resolution agreed to call on the Abbott government to immediately restore an established system of appointing independent education experts to oversee the development and implementation of the Australian curriculum. And the minister's response, which was tabled in this place today, is totally unacceptable. It doesn't address the motion itself, and it does not uh, address the widespread community concern about the nature of the Abbott government's rushed and ideological review of the national curriculum. The letter is really a mere, uh, merely a restatement of previous comments by the minister. It's not a response at all, in fact. And if members in this place were interested in knowing more about the minister's evasions on this issue, they could have just watched one of his numerous media conferences that have occurred in the past. But what the members in this place and the Australian community at large want to know is that this minister will not be forcing his politics into the classroom. We want this minister, Mr Pine, to say he will respect the independent process that delivered the national curriculum that is still being implemented. It's a national curriculum which was developed over several years and it's taking into account the views of more than 17,000 submitters. It includes, uh, that includes experts across a range of disciplines and fields. And, um, that curriculum was negotiated with each state and territory government. But this review, announced by the Education Minister, is nothing more than a manipulative ideological exercise by the minister which is based on a paranoia about uh, a left-wing bias in schools. And so we've seen the minister hand-pick Mr Ken Wiltshire and Dr Kevin Donnelly to run this hasty and premature review to overturn the, week, the work of thousands uh, of many people, but thousands of, uh, taking into account thousands of submissions over a period of years. So essentially what Minister Pine is doing is paying to hear what he wants to hear. He will push his ideological barrow at any cost. Several millions of dollars have already been spent to get us to where we are today. Several millions of dollars which this education minister is happy to see made redundant, all for an ideological review of what our children will be learning in school. The Australian Greens remain extremely concerned that this is a politically motivated review and it's being headed by a person who is underqualified and clearly driven by ideology, as is evident from his statements on the public record, Dr Kevin Donnelly. We're concerned about Dr Donnelly's comments on Australia's indigenous heritage and multiculturalism. We're concerned about his stance on LGBTI rights. We're concerned about his apathy about public education and the teachers who teach in government schools throughout Australia. And we're concerned about his clear bias towards elite non-government schools. Of course, Dr Donnelly is entitled to his views, although many, many Australians do not share them. But what he should not be entitled to do is to help engineer a curriculum that's designed to promulgate his own divisive ideology and one that is apparently shared by this government. And so, yes, we are very, very concerned. And we're not the only ones who are concerned about appointing, essentially, men of the past to oversee what should be a curriculum of the future. So last month, members of this House voted to return to the established system of appointing independent education experts to oversee the development and implementation of the Australian curriculum. On behalf of the Australian Greens, I restate our commitment to a world-class education for every child and our position that the current review is premature you, Senate, Senator and Senator lacking Wright. objectivity.